honestly, I don't really know. But just please do not let that affect you or what you want to do because they're irrelevant. <laughs>
a lot of times people like to put down their camera and just film one long section of them just talking but a lot of times you end up talking about stuff that people don't really care about or you end up rambling which can lead to people exiting out of your video or not really being interested in watching the rest of the video even if you have good things to share and all that um people just don't have attention spans for that sometimes and I find myself doing that sometimes too so yeah but um, it's a lot easier for you to be able to make better videos if you edit them so that way you can at least cut different clips and paste them in a sense so everything makes sense and you only get across what you really want in your video and it looks more professionally done than just sitting down with the camera but as you know if you're starting out you learn from your mistakes I mean it's fine if you do do that but it's nice to be able to edit because it makes your videos look a lot better and also a lot of lookbooks I have and stuff, I like to add texts to, you know, say where certain things are from or add filters or add different, you know, all that type of stuff. It just makes the video look better. So eventually you can learn and get into that if you have already. I use natural lighting in about, I'd say 90% of my videos. Uh, natural lighting is the best lighting. If the camera quality turns out better if you use good lighting. Lighting is really important to be able to show whatever you're trying to show without it being underexposed, too dark, or overexposed, and too bright. So natural lighting is the key a lot of times to getting that perfect lighting set up. If you don't have maybe umbrella lights or photography lights, or even if you do have those things, a lot of times you want to use natural lighting instead. So I advise you filming in a well-lit room during the daytime on a sunny day um, and it's kind of hard to do that if you live in an area that doesn't get a lot of sun or if you like uploading or recording during times of day where it's dark outside so uh, umbrella lighting is then a good idea for you to use if you want to use that instead I got my two umbrella lights off of Amazon I will link those below but those are something you can invest in if you want to have at least as an option if natural lighting is not an option Next is I advise you to promote yourself on social media. Um, I don't think you should shove it in people's faces and constantly be posting like, oh, check out my YouTube or, you know, emailing everyone and messaging and texting everyone, hey, I got a YouTube video out or whatever because that can kind of get annoying. But um, have a link at least in your bio because if people are curious, they can look into that. Um, every now and then maybe say, oh, I uploaded this video if you guys want to check it out or anything like that. Just so that people are aware but don't, like I said, shove it in their faces. Next, I'll be talking about content. When I mean content, it's about what your videos are based upon. Um, I think what really helps is to have one of your videos have a lot of views, or I guess go viral would even be better, is um, upload like popular videos, upload commonly searched videos. Like my hair care routine video is what helped me get a lot of subscribers. I think a lot of you guys came from that video. Because um, that's a really common video people look for, like skincare routines, room tours. If you get that one video popular, you get more attention on your channel through those people watching that video. Also, I like to ask people what they want. If you notice in pretty much all my videos, I always ask you to leave comments for suggestions because I really do use those. Because I want to know what you guys want. Because if I'm uploading things people don't want to watch, I'm not going to get any audience or any views. So I want to be able to answer people's questions that people have so that way I know when I upload it, it actually helps someone or actually helps people, not just to upload. So, yeah. Another thing is thumbnails. Um, thumbnails are the pictures that people see when they search your video with that little box, like, so that way they can press onto it and be like, oh yeah, I want to watch that video. But a lot of times I look at thumbnails and think, okay, if that's a good looking thumbnail, it's probably a good video. I think that thumbnails are pretty important. You want to make sure that, um... Your thumbnails can either be a still picture, so you can take a picture maybe with your makeup products or your clothes or whatever. And what I like to do is make collages and upload it onto my computer and then um, use it as a custom thumbnail. Custom thumbnails are, uh, I think, available to anyone. I'm not sure if you have to be sponsored or not, or partnered. I'm not really sure, but for me it's an option, I know, and it has been an option since I first uploaded. But um, basically when you upload your video, on the side there are boxes with different thumbnails you can have and then at the bottom it says custom thumbnail you press that and then it goes to your documents and you can pick a picture so if you make a collage you just save it onto your computer and pick that picture or if you took a still picture of yourself and you can upload that onto there for a custom thumbnail so that's something to think about also when you upload videos is to have a nice looking thumbnail because that attracts more people to your videos too so I'm going to talk about consistency and that means how often you upload which as I mentioned before, it was really important for me because I uploaded one video 
and I got a little bit of attention but I feel like if I were to continue to upload more often I would have more subscribers because when I did that in the summertime I started getting more views and more subscribers because I was uploading more frequently and I had more videos for people to um, you know be able to look at my channel because if you have just a few videos it's hard for you to be relevant but if you have a lot of videos people can you know see in the related videos or be able to watch and people just want to be able to know that you are going to be uploading consistently not that you're just going to upload a few here and there and they're not going to get that much from you anymore so consistency is important as far as um, making sure you start a channel and maintain a channel next is haters haters go hate just kidding not really um i feel like youtube is a great place for people to support other people but a lot of times people end up writing negative comments and I mean I don't think you should take it into consideration because you know if you're doing what you love it shouldn't matter what people say at all so don't let that stop you from doing what you want to do if you want to make videos if that's your passion if you like film editing if you like fashion if you like beauty if you like anything that you're making videos on that shouldn't affect you because you should be doing what you want to do and what people, you know, say can doesn't have to mean anything because that's what they think. It's not really, it shouldn't affect you. So don't let that, you know, matter because, I mean, every now and then I do get those comments, but, and it hurts and I don't know, it's just, you have to realize that those people are sometimes doing that you know, just because they feel like it makes them feel better. I don't honestly, I don't really know. But just please do not let that affect you or what you want to do because they're irrelevant. <laughs> so next I'll talk about music. Um, is copyright infringement is a huge issue on YouTube. And if you, basically copy, copyright infringement is, is when you use a song that is owned by an artist or owned by a company in your video and basically even if you say like the song, the artist and who it's by and everything like that you can still get flagged for that and sometimes it ends up having your video actually taken down it hasn't happened to me but I have had a video flagged or a couple videos flagged for having content of copyright infringement music stuff I like getting my music from SoundCloud and they have the option on SoundCloud to download sometimes songs and a lot of times artists give you permission to use their songs so I like using that. A lot of times if you use remixes and songs people never ever heard of then you are okay but I would not risk using music that is mainstream or a lot of people know about just because there is always that risk. People sometimes get away with it but I don't think it's a good idea to do that if you're really serious about making videos because that can be a problem. Uh, another thing I advise is to kind of capture the viewer's attention in the beginning of your video. Beginning, that's that word. Anyway, um, and to keep your intros kind of to the point. I know I do that sometimes. My intros are super long. But I know that when I watch videos, if they ramble, ramble, ramble on, then I like end up skipping a lot of their video or just exiting out because they talk too much. So just keep that in mind. I know that sometimes when you start a video you do want to let people know what you're going to be talking about and videos do involve talking but I know a lot of people get tired of that. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is monetization. Basically it's when you get paid for your videos. Um, I know that when I started out I was not monetized. I didn't understand monetization but I knew it was an option when you uploaded videos like if you can you know monetize it or not. So I didn't really understand it and it is kind of complicated, but I know Google AdSense is an option, it's a safe option because it is through Google and it's easy because it is through Google and YouTube is obviously with Google. So it's just, it goes hand in hand with each other. Um, but it does involve things like um, telling them your social security number, your tax information, your address, your billing information, all that because you do get paid. And I don't know exactly how they pay you, like what exactly is the whole rates that go along with that, like does, is it by subscribers? I know as factors of um, your views, your subscribers, how many times people click on the ads that show up because you get paid through those ads. The ads that people have in, like before videos, that's what they get paid for, is for you watching those little ads before their videos. So 
Um, I'm partnered with Style Hall, and by contract, I'm not allowed to say much about, like, as far as what I get paid or how I get paid. But, um, I don't really know myself, like, the rates and everything, whether it was Google AdSense or Style Hall. But just know that is an option that you might want to get into eventually. If, because when you're starting out, you're most likely not getting a lot of views to begin with, so it might not even be something to consider, but eventually maybe you will. But, um, yeah. And I have a lot more to learn, so if you have, you know, anything else you want to say, comment below for people, you know, want more advice for everything. And also, if you have any more questions, let me know too, because I know that I probably skipped some things that people wanted to know, but I thought overall those were the main things I wanted to talk about. So yeah, as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more videos, you know, comment for more video suggestions, because I will be reading those. So yeah. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.